to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I'm here with my mother, Shelly. Hi. My father, Gary. Hello. And my husband, Jared. Hi. Today, we're going to be chit-chatting to you about the most recent weekly peak. But before we get into that, a quick silly word from our sponsor, the My Little Homestead t-shirt shop. If you'd like to get fun merchandise with really neat, cute designs, uh, some funny ones, just playful, I'd say, is, is probably the word that describes it best. Uh, the link will be down there in the description. So I thought before we launch into uh, the weekly peak, what's up, Lizzie, over on our Patreon? She says, great to see progress on this amazing build. It's also fun to connect your Wednesday lessons to what we see on Friday so we can really see the way you work on two levels. (laughs) Thank you so much, Lizzie. That is wonderful. In the uh, weekly peak this week, you guys put in a bunch of uh, piping and tubing. Yeah, we got utilities in, so your power and your... I stubbed in. Mm-hmm. Paul Ogia says, you might want to run a piece of rope inside your utility pipe next time. If you ever decide you want to run something else in the pipe, such as airline or electrical, you can just tie on and pull it through. Which is kind of an interesting thought. Mm-hmm. Just kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, folks in the comments, there are definitely those people that could not believe you used duct tape. <laughs> Hold on, I don't know if that was in yeah, the Yeah, when we not. taped it up, it's like, this is gonna be fun yeah so, <laughs> yeah but it's just gonna get locked in place is all it needed to be it's not gonna have any liquids or air mm-hmm. or anything else in it it's mm-hmm. just a space a cavity that we can use yeah, yeah. space with the vacuum line and electrical yeah that's it so you're saying you knew that there was going to be comments coming <laughs> in and you were you were smiling uh, <laughs> ear to ear actually so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew somebody would comment yeah boy you didn't talk to <laughs> no, that was that was fun. I mean, think how many things duct tape goes for. I mean, you can use it for everything. Well, yeah, they say everything, and it should be everything. Yeah. It should be. Yeah, <laughs> there's probably some code out there as to how much duct tape and the way it's supposed to. Oh, be the taped. width of how many how many times you can go around the it. Mill. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, exactly. I just good. remember our water line had a little bit of a burst, so I duct taped it. It was just like, okay, turn it on, and just. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, and I wrapped it like at least five times. Yeah, and it's a vacuum. It was a vacuum line. Yeah, it? yeah. yeah. Um, one time, uh, our friend Marvin gave us that. It was like a rubberized yeah. tape, and you would actually use it around pipe, and it would lock the water. And it was wow, it, like kind of cool. stuck to each other, but it wasn't sticky. Yeah. It was rubberized. Hmm. It was really yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if they sell that today. They do. Fancy, fancy. We just like to use duct tape and watch it squirt. Yeah, that's more fun. <laughs> so around six minutes into the video, we had this uh, film of this really weird animal covered in dirt. Yes. Yes. And Karen says, literally Karen, but it's Karen, not Karen, but in parentheses, so you know exactly how that to pronounce her name. That is super Karen. helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Karen says... What is that? Best I can figure, it's some kind of dirt-covered toad. But my initial reaction was, is that a potato moving? So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I needed potatoes. So. Yeah, yeah. Stephanie Varen says, I had to get back to the six-minute mark to figure out what that round tab blob crawling out of the dirt was. <laughs> that is a huge toad. He totally had me dusted in his identity at first. <laughs> totally. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's great. Yes, it is a toad, mm-hmm. I believe. I also have one from Rozier on rumble comment he okay. says what is that critter don't get to see enough of it to confirm it's a toad but he's thinking it's a toad, toad too. yeah i think it is it's the most gelatinous looking was toad it? i've ever seen it was very spacey looking <laughs> yeah it was like what foreign substance have we dug up it was the blob too <laughs> yep it was it becoming was. one it was with the dirt. It was a blob. <laughs> it's like, oh, I think there was this meme out there. It was a hamster, and it was, like, completely blobbed onto the couch. And somebody was like, oh, someone spilled their hamster on the couch. <laughs> it, was like, <laughs> it was a great meme. If that's what it looked like, it looked like someone spilled the toad on your guys' <laughs> <on your guys's laughs> pile. Wilbur Peabody says, have you guys considered air creep for part of your build, like maybe making blocks? I'm starting to think you guys are smarter than the average bear, maybe even smarter than yoga. Or <laughs> Yoda. Yogi. 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 <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Wilbur. Have we considered it, but I don't think we're going to go with it. Uh, I don't have a sp- right now. I don't have a spot for it. Uh, we're using the hyper Adobe bags, which mm-hmm. is new to us. Mm-hmm. That'll be the new tech yeah. that we're putting in this building, and the roof style is going to be different than I've ever done. So, 
Yeah, of right. Of course, on. of course. Why would you do it the mm. same? Well, yeah, once the same kind of roof, not me. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but um, you and I have already moved in yeah, to the apartment above. Yeah, it's a little chilly down there. Yeah, sleeping in the dirt, and it's not exactly as lifted high as high as we, we anticipate. But yeah. you know, mentally yeah. we're right down there. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. You guys are running piping, but this is it's just piping for the vacuum system, mm-hmm. and then also it's going to be the cavity for uh, electrical, right, in the right. future? Yeah, okay. that's the in-floor stuff. Right on. Did we put any plumbing for the toilet in there as well? Yes, we did. Uh, yeah, remember them drilling out the... Yeah. Drilling out the... You have to stub out... Um, oh, yes, I remember yes. now. <laughs> you have to stub out for your electrical, your plumbing, and your water um, so that when you pour the concrete, the, those parts are on the outside. We'll hook that all up later. We already did the... There's three pipes sticking up near the far outbuilding that has have the electrical, the uh, dirter tube, and the dirter tube. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you have for a bathroom in there a sink and a toilet. Right. Do you no shower yet? We're probably doing outdoor shower on the other side of it or something. Is that or just kinda? or, or just, are we just going to use our outdoor shower that we already oh. have? Yeah, you might have to just walk a, a few more steps. I guess. Yeah, that we way. have an outdoor shower. That's true. Uh, we decided not to have a shower in the lower section. The apartment will have one, but okay. Uh, and then all the plumbing for hot and cold and stuff is coming up and around. I'm I'm am using um, PEX tubing or some kind of. All right on. Now, Anna Bodhi 38 says, why don't you put in a composting toilet? Less hassle than all the digging and whatnot. Just curious is all. Mm-hmm. It kind of works like this. When we first moved here, we put in a large uh, drain field and septic tank, mm-hmm. thinking I was going to build this six-bedroom home just mm-hmm. about in that same spot. Yeah. That was our original idea. And uh, so I had something where I needed a lot of plumbing. We weren't really thinking along these lines as much then either. Yeah, when you have a big septic tank just sitting out there and empty. Finally get to use it. We're going to fill her up. <laughs> Actually, you guys are hooked up with your RV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? as well. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. But yeah, we finally get to use it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's for a six-bedroom house. Yeah. So it's very large. We can flush that toilet all day long. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have probably two toilets in there because you'll have probably something in the apartment. That's true. Yes. That's and true. you'll have a There'll shower in there. And so, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not going to be a six-bedroom quality, but it'll at least be yeah. something. We something. could build something else out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Another big one, yeah. Oh, in the future. Okay, so we've been really into collecting like old books. That's been our, our recent thing. And in the future, I don't know, probably further out, but well, I think that we should make a library Building, type th- building. library building yeah and make it so that you know there's a lot of bookshelves in there for those books and then have like little cubby holes where you could go and read and definitely got to do like a fire rocket stove in there mm-hmm. oh i like and that. a restroom and a coffee place yeah mm-hmm. a little barista mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. A little barista right there <laughs> yeah. roll in the little coffee cart yeah yep. a little coffee cart <laughs> <laughs> anyway. so anyway I don't know what got me on that, but it's kind of fun to do the top comment of the week on the Weekly Peak, and that is by EZE says, I send my respect out to Jared. It's cool to see how your positive energy adds to the family. We, the viewers, like you. Yeah. Thank you. Woo. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> He's been inducted. Yay. Uh, right on. Jared, for Christmas. He got, well, I guess it was kind of, just as a, as a gift, mm-hmm. he got me a uh, an iPad mm-hmm. and a little pencil, and I'm pretty excited. I've been drawing, like, a lot on that. I want to do another t-shirt design, but I'm not sure what to do on it. So if you have an idea, please post it down in the comments, and um, maybe, I don't know if it's probably something to do with new project out there, the workshop maybe, a Plumbing pun. is always a good topic. <laughs> Plumbing. If the dirter it's tube. Fun. Yeah, dirter <laughs> tube. The dirter tube could work. So. The dirter? Dirter tube. The dirter tube was in, uh, uh, was in Portland because they had Big Fat Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I was up there and I had a buddy up there, a musician friend, and we're all sitting around. He went to the restroom. He came back. He had the toilet paper roll. And he says, you know, Fat Tuesday, it's all about the dirter tube. <laughs> <laughs> no, three or four of us go, what? And it's... <laughs> 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 oh, God, it up. It's so funny. That was hilarious. <laughs> oh, you had a fancy one. That was a serious upgrade. That was an upgrade. From the toilet roll. Yep. Oh, mm-hmm. God. Yeah, it was either that or Nicola. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ricola. Isn't that one of the big tube? Any mm-hmm. oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That old commercial back in the other days. 
older. Other days that are older, older than this, than, than these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was several people commenting about your dirter tube, and they oh, yeah. they appreciated the dirter tube. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can share that with your kids. It's always a lot of fun to have a dirter tube. Well, I was so confused when I was first reading the comments because I had it had been a, f- a couple of days since I had seen the video before it went up because Bryson edited it this week. And I was like, the dirter tube. I'm like, what is a dirter tube? And then I started to realize, oh, it's in the actual thumbnail. The dirter tube. I was like, oh! I know what that means now. <laughs> well, I think that's going to wrap it up for us this week. We really appreciate you hanging out with us. And in commenting, we want to give a special thank you to our patron supporters. Thank you for your financial support. If that is something that interests you, uh, a buck or two a month really helps us out around here. And the link to that will be down in the description. We are really looking forward to another Wednesday for the uh, the tip series. Pretty yes. exciting. And um, the following w- uh, Friday video course. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be Jared and I's task. We're, we're taking it every other week now, which is pretty exciting. So thank you so much. And we look forward to hanging out with you more on Wednesday for those tip videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.